going on everybody welcome back to an unboxing video about to write bearded cat juice and boxing reviews you know if you guys like the channel hit the subscribe button give the video a like share with anybody you think who like the content of this channel um yeah we're back for another one thank you for all the support uh recently we just did our 400 subscriber giveaway um so congratulations uh to celeste lopez um yeah i'm i'm i hope that she's uh excited about her stuff i hope she likes everything um it seemed like she is she was uh she was very appreciative um, for winning and everything like that and just really grateful. So, um, and then she even posted on, on uh, social media and stuff like that. And I just, that just, that warmed my heart. I mean, that's all, that's what it's about. That's what I'm trying to do uh, for the community here and stuff like that. Like giving back to you guys, you know, that are showing me support. I want to give it back to you. So, um, but then obviously a reminder, our next giveaway, 500 subscribers. Like I said before, we got a good chunk already chipped away at that. We just keep doing what we're doing. And before you know it, we're going to be at 500 and we're going to do another giveaway to another lucky winner. So, yeah, uh, thank you to everybody who participated in everything. So, yeah, to many more. So, but let's get in today's box day. This is a brand new release. Um, I was very skeptical on this one. I really was. Um, so at first, I was super excited, super, super excited. Um, I like this iteration of Godzilla. I like everything about him and everything, uh, but just seeing stuff online and everything about him and everything just got me questioning um, if I was really going to like it or not. So I was like, oh, I don't know. So my excitement kind of dropped and everything. So, but, you know, with today's video, we'll see if it gets hyped back up and everything and uh, um, see if I'm going to be on cloud nine like I was when it initially was released and everything. So. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into All right, it. Here it is. We are talking about the brand new, just released uh, X plus 25 centimeter Godzilla Ultima. This is the Rick exclusive from the Japanese Rick site and everything. So yeah, like I said, I was super excited for this and everything. Um, I really do like Ultima look and everything. Um, so yeah, I, I was really curious to see you know, to get this in hand and see exactly what it looks like and everything and uh, see for myself, you know, and everything. But, you know, obviously you can see with the box here, um, pretty plain Jane, like we have been getting. Um, this is, uh, you know, your, your printed on uh, image on the cardboard and everything. So nothing too crazy to go about. Dang it. You know, I like the boxes. I like the box art and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so nothing too crazy about this one. You know, you get the image of the figure. Um this is from obviously Godzilla Singular Point, the Godzilla anime that's on Netflix. Um, Japanese writing here, Toho Large Monster series, and then Godzilla Ultima and Japanese lettering. So, um, so yeah, so that's really about it. Um, then obviously you have the brands that it's um, by and everything, and you know all that kind of good stuff. So uh, yeah, so not too much to talk about the actual box here. Uh, taller than what I expected which is a little bit different because usually the 25 centimeter figures usually come in the smaller box and everything. Usually they come in the window um, boxes and everything. I think they stopped doing that uh, as far as I know of. Um, it's been a while since I've bought a 25 centimeter figure. It's because I, I'm getting out of that. I'm going with 30 centimeters and above kind of thing. I don't want the smaller ones and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so it's it's been a minute. So this could be just a small glimpse of because of how big the figure is and everything, because they have to go with a bigger size figure uh, box and everything um, that we get this kind of box. And, you know, for a 25 centimeter figure, we don't get these big boxes like that. Like this is a huge box for a 25 centimeter figure. So uh, something's going on here inside the box and everything. So um, I'm curious to see what it is uh, and everything. So, but yeah, enough about the box. Let's get right into the figure. All right, here he is. I got him placed up on the little risers and stuff like that. So you guys have a good look at them and stuff like that. Of course, I will hold it to the camera uh, closer and everything. But yeah, this is the 25 centimeter Rick X plus Godzilla Ultima from Godzilla Singular Point. So love this design. I really do like, uh, and I love the cartoon. So yeah, this 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 Godzilla design, I it just, it's very different and everything, but I, I really did like it. Um, when I was watching, you know, the, the cartoon and everything like that, that, yeah, I was really drawn to it and everything. I really did dig it. Um, and everything I didn't, um, like the forms that he had, uh, unfortunately in the anime series and everything. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, I just wanted to see Godzilla, 
Um, I, I wasn't, a, a, it's the same thing that goes with Shin. I didn't like the forms or the stages. Um, I would have been okay with just a Godzilla kind of thing. But I understand it's it's different. It's out of the box kind of thinking. Um, we haven't seen Godzilla like that, um, you know, and ever, you know, kind of thing. Um, so this came out after Shin, obviously, and they kind of did not the same thing, but obviously they give him stages uh, and everything. And every time that he had a stage, he looked like, another monster and let's be honest it seriously was um <laughs> uh so yeah i would have just been so much happier if we would have just got those iterations and they were their own separate beings not part of godzilla because like the first one i mean let's be honest that was titanosaurus aquatus um and everything like come on and then he went to uh like the varan looking one i can't remember that name uh, and everything, and then he went to the like Gorosaurus type of one. I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of these names, honestly. I'm sorry. Um, and then he went to obviously Godzilla Ultima, the final form, stuff like that. So um, I prefer this over them doing all these different stages and stuff. And just give me the actual kaiju by themselves. Everything else was good in that in that cartoon. So um, yeah, I just would have preferred that, but. Enough about that. We can talk about the the anime a little bit later here. Um, but the figure itself just looks amazing. It really does. Um, I was actually really blown away with opening the box. And I was like, wow. I was like, this thing just looks dynamite. It really does. I love the pose that they have going on with this thing. Um, it's more of an action um, motion pose because you have the slight turn to them. you know, And then you have the slight turn with the neck. And then you even have the muscles in the neck turning as well. Uh, I absolutely love that. It's not just like ecstatic pose, you know, where he's looking straight on with his arms at his sides and that's it. Um, they did do a little bit more movement to him and everything. So I do love that. I do appreciate that. Uh, just makes the figure more dynamic, like I've said in the past. Um, I do dig that kind of stuff and everything. Um, you know, as we turn here. I love the spines. The spines are really, really cool. Nice detail in them. Uh, it's almost a little iteration of Godzilla Earth with these spines and everything, um, but as their own thing. Uh, really, really cool. Love the red in there, mixed in there. It's really, really nicely done uh, and everything. I really did like it in the, uh, the anime and everything. And then as we turn around here, this huge huge tail just goes on for days <laughs> it really does like it's it's ginormous it really is like for a 25 centimeter figure you don't see this kind of stuff this is for like a 30 centimeter figure um and i think i measured it roughly it's like 26 inches um i don't know how much of that is in centimeters but inches like that's that's a pretty long tail and everything so uh, definitely adds to the figure overall it's, it looks phenomenal. Love the pose. I love the look of him. The face is done really, really well. Um, see if I can get a clear shot here. Um, I do love it. Um, the, the teeth are done really, really nicely and everything. Uh, nothing's muddy or nothing like that. The, all the paint is done really crisp and everything. Uh, the, the individually sculpted teeth on it are done really nicely, especially how small they are. Um, it really just shows the detail they put into this um, and everything. You know, the arms are all great. Uh, he's got the big old thick thighs, just like the Heisei and everything like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, definitely a, a, a cousin or related to uh, that series, uh, or that era, Godzilla and everything. So he's got the big old thighs, big old feet and everything like that because he is supposed to be a very big Godzilla uh, I can't remember the exact size of him, um, but yeah, he's in the range of being one of the bigger Godzillas that we've seen. Um, so I think that's kind of why he had the bigger legs overall. Um, and I'm okay with that, you know, and that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like they went Heisei on the bottom and Showa on the top, you know, with the, the slimmer look uh, from his like chest up or from his uh, torso up, you know, kind of thing. And then just went Heisei. So yeah, he's definitely a mix of the two eras and stuff like that. And I dig that. Um, and then, you know, when you look at his head and everything and you see those, you know, I don't know what they're called um, and everything, but you kind of see them like on um, crocodiles and alligators, like they're like 
like uh, scales or like armor um, kind of on his head. Um, they're not really the, the spines in any way, um, but you kind of see them like on crocodiles and stuff like that. Um, it's really, really cool. I really dig it. Um, a very different look to a Godzilla that we've seen, uh, you know, like I said, more reptilian um, in, in a way because uh, we have that kind of look uh, with those like uh, scales or spines or um, armor, you know, um, that kind of goes up on his head and stuff like that. And it looks really cool. Like it almost looks like a mohawk, you know, uh, in essence kind of thing. And it just, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's different. It's cool. I, I do dig it. And it's not your typical spines that kind of go right up to the tip of his head and everything like that. It, it starts from the tip, uh, top of his head and works his way down its neck. And then it turns into spine. So very different uh, concept and everything, but I really do dig it. Like um, I could see those things like puffing up and going upwards, you know, to, um, like an intimidation kind of form, kind of like what he does in the, the monster verse and everything when he starts like uh, beating blue and stuff like that. That's an intimidation. I can see those things uh, kind of raise up a little bit to make himself big, you know, and more menacing looking and stuff like that. You know, I could definitely see that. So really, really cool design uh, and everything. You know, you've got your typical bark kind of skin and everything like that, but it's plated differently. Um, even his chest and uh, torso is different plated uh, the normal and stuff like that, even though you have the normal tree bark like on the tail and the back and the uh, legs and stuff like that. But it's also layered differently with the armored plates and stuff like that. So really, really cool look overall. I really do dig it. Um, and then his feet uh, has um, kind of like Tyrannosaurus feet because he has the three toes. And then on the back, he has that ankle spike or nail, I guess you could call, kind of thing. So they're kind of going with that kind of look uh, and everything. So he doesn't have your typical four-toed feet and everything. He does have the three this time uh, and everything. But yeah, they're bigger feet, kind of like the GMK uh, ask, you know, kind of thing. Or uh, the the feet were a lot bigger uh, than normal. But I think just because it's a bigger Godzilla, he does have to have bigger legs and stronger legs to support his weight and everything like that. So. Um, and I, I get all that and stuff like that. And then just the ginormous tail that just goes on for days and stuff like that. I love the waviness of it and everything, you know, cause if it went straight out, that would just be ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and just a shelf hog. I mean, he's going to be a shelf hog, um, in general as it is, but, uh, I love the waviness. Like I said, the movement, it just makes the, the, the figure a lot better, uh, to me personally and stuff. So, um, and even, um, so the, the tail, um, came in two separate uh, pieces, just like it normally does. And they had the little flangey that you had to heat up and stuff like that. But honestly, this time, like, it was a better fit. And it just went on really easy. Like, there wasn't a lot of fighting uh, with this particular tail compared to what we're used to with the others and stuff like that, where you have to heat up and, and stick it in there or, or wedge it in there. You know, this one actually went in with a split second, like it really did. And... Um, it shows that it does. You can't really see the um, the seam and stuff like that. You can see it here, but it kind of looks like the uh, plates um, kind of going up his tail and everything. So it looks natural, uh, and I like that. I like that. That's not just a nice circle all the way around. Uh, they made it the design of the figure itself and everything to make it more natural looking and everything like that. So that's really cool. Um, I glad I'm glad they did something like that. Um, they also two. There is a tail stand for him just because the tail is so big, so heavy. Um, you know, you have to worry about drooping and stuff like that. They did incorporate that and all. Um, so it's just a little tail stand that you put right under his tail, so you don't have to worry about that and everything. Uh, I believe some of the shins have that and everything, just because the tails are so long and stuff like that, and they go out quite a ways. Um, you know, if these things heat up. You know, over time, they can start drooping and stuff like that. You don't want that. You know, then you have to kind of heat it back up or super heat it up and then super cool it so it stays at form and everything. So uh, that was a real nice little touch feature to it. I know it sucks because um, we don't want that stuff. It's an extra thing to uh, have with our figures and stuff. But, you know, sometimes it is necessary. So, And like I said before, this is the Rick option or Rick featured uh, figure. So um, I will show you what the Rick feature is. Um, this particular Rick feature was a light up 
uh, for this figure. So. And before we plug it in everything, I just wanted to show you in the back of his leg here, right here, is actually where the plug is. Now, it took me a little bit to find this thing. Um, they did a very good job hiding it and making it look like it's part of the figure. So kudos to them. Probably the hardest one I've had to deal with um, and everything. But once you get it off, then you know it's there. So there's your little piece. There is your plug-in port, and that's where it goes. So it goes under the thigh, the back thigh of his left leg. All right. Here we go. Bam! <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, the blue emits from the spines and everything. It is a really nice... A bright light up and everything which i really do dig uh only blue light up right now um i think the other one that i had was the legendary 2019 blue light up but i don't have the figure anymore so i have zero um so all my other light ups are like white uh typically but yeah i finally have a blue one now again so that's really cool i really do dig the blue and everything um it just makes it pop in every way uh, i'm gonna get them closer to the screen and everything so you guys can see it but yeah, nice translucent spines and everything. Uh, they're translucent, uh, just clear kind of looking with the details sculpted into it. And then the red uh, like veins uh, painted on and stuff like that. And then the, the light emitting from the base and everything like that. So it looks really well done, really nice and everything. And then obviously, and of course, you can see kind of in his mouth right now um, that the light actually emits from his mouth also. So like he's getting ready to uh attack and unleash his atomic breath and you get that also which is really cool i love that feature i think the 2019 godzilla uh started doing that first uh where they started emitting from the mouth and everything and i do dig that it's really really cool um you can kind of see off of my hand that it as actually is emitting enough where it's coming out of the mouth and everything um if i shut off the lights here it it's a nice really nice glow and I was very impressed. Uh, this blew me away, actually. I wasn't expecting how nice this looked uh, in general. And uh, I definitely am liking it a lot, uh, especially it coming from the mouth and everything like that. So, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Just the last thing you would see before you died if you were standing in front of this guy is that maw right there and then just that blue light coming at you. <laughs> Not the best way to go, so... So I'll keep turning around here so I don't drop the power box and everything. So, yeah, you can get a good look at that and everything. Um, but, yeah, it, it is a really, really nice light up. I'm not typically a light up person. Um, I usually frown upon them every now and again. Usually uh, there's a good one, and it depends on the actual character and stuff. Um, but I just chanced it, and um, I just wanted to get this one. And I actually do like it. I, I mean, I don't use the light ups a lot and everything. And I'm, I'm okay with that, you know, but like it, it really does put a lot more towards the figure and everything like that to have the light up and everything, especially with the really cool blue and the, the blue coming out of the mouth. Now, like that's really, really cool to me. Um, but yeah, so that's the Rick option for this guy. All right. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the figure. Um, like I said before, uh, I was very leery about this figure and, um, in reality, you know, um, I saw pictures, I saw how small he was and everything, and I wasn't um, really happy about the size. I was really hoping and really praying that this was on the bigger 25-centimeter uh, scale, um, just like we've had in the past. There's a couple of them, like uh, actually the tw uh, 2003 uh, Godzilla, uh, the 25-centimeter. That's a little bit bigger figure. It's like 27 inches. And I was really hoping he was going to be like 27, 28, just because he is a bigger Godzilla in general. Um, so I was really hoping for that. So hoping that it was closer to the 30 and everything. And so I was a little depressed, a little sad that when I started seeing photos online of how small he is, I was like, oh no. I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't looking forward to getting him. Honestly, uh, my excitement really died down and I was like, dang it. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get this or even keep this at all kind of thing. So I was like, you know, all right, we'll see. People were telling me, you know, hey, just wait till you get it and everything. Then you can have an opinion. So you, you look at it and everything. I was like, all right, fine. So just got it. Uh, what was it yesterday? Cracked it open today. And um, my opinions have changed on it. They really have. Uh, I am going to be keeping this right now. 
Um, maybe unless, you know, something else comes out in the future, you know, to replace it, that's kind of what I've been doing. You know, I, I get the bigger figure or the better figure of a particular uh, Godzilla suit or iteration and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be keeping him for now. Um, it definitely made me happy to see all this stuff firsthand with how easy the tail was, how well the plug was hidden, everything, and then the light up in general. And then the overall figure uh, presence in general was really, really nice. Um, I really dig, like I said, the pose, the sculpt is really good. Uh, the paint job is well done. Like everything about this is great. Um, I really do dig it. Um, yeah, it's it's a really nice piece. So definitely, I, I definitely recommend it. So pick it up if you guys haven't. Uh, I know not everybody is fans of the Ultima look. Uh, I'm not particularly happy with the split jaw, you know, and stuff like that, that he does. I'm not a fan of that. Same thing with Shin uh, and everything. Uh, and then if I had one nitpick about this figure, I would say the eyes need to be uh, better painted. Um, I just think that's a little lacking uh, overall, but, um, you know, otherwise the figure itself is just phenomenal. It really is. So, um yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. And I do dig the anime series. Uh, there, it was a really good show. Um, I actually thought there was a, enough kaiju action. Uh, and there was basically a, a action in every episode, along with the, <laughs> you know, the science mumble jumbo and stuff like that. Like, I know, understand that it is very scientific and everything and theories and, and all this stuff. I get that. I was lost too, but I, I understood enough. And enough made sense where I could follow the story. And then you mix in the kaiju action and stuff like that. That was great. And then just the story was really well done also. Like, it was really great. So I really hope that there is a season two of this coming. Uh, especially that teaser that they kind of showed at the end. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and everything. Um, but, yeah, who knows. Uh, especially we won't have to go through the stages for Godzilla. He's already there. And everything and then you know like i said that spoiler who knows um but yeah definitely go check it out and i know it's a little rough getting through and everything but you know i definitely recommend that series too it, it is really fun to watch and everything and just the character developments are really cool um and really the star of that whole show that whole anime was jet jaguar it, he really was like he stole the show uh i think for everybody um and i don't think i'm the only one on that hill honestly so um, it wasn't even Godzilla, honestly. It wasn't him. Uh, he was kind of there. You know, he was in the background kind of thing. Uh, they didn't really focus on him a ton until starting to get towards the end and everything like that. Like, yeah, I know he was around and everything, and he was evolving and stuff. But, you know, uh, it was it was mostly Jet Jaguar. So uh, a lot of kudos to him. So, um, But, yeah, overall, great figure, great sculpt, great paint. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. So... Um, so yeah, we're going to do some size comparisons and see how he stacks up with some other guys. All right, guys. So here's my first size comparison. Um, so I got the Godzilla 1965, 25 centimeter, uh, comparing to the Ultima and everything. And as you can see, they're pretty close in size. Uh, I'll get them closer here. So you can kind of see, uh, Ultima has it just by the, the armored spine scale, whatever you want to call it on the, on the top of his head. Um, that's really about it. That's really giving him the edge. So yeah, he is a true 25 centimeter. Dang it. <laughs> um, but I'll just have to get past that. So, um, but yeah, it's still really cool. Um, he sizes up well and everything like that. Uh, they don't have any other Godzilla's or, uh, uh, Kaiju from the anime series yet. Uh, he is the first one, especially for X plus. Uh, I know they have a lot of Bandai's or all the Bandai's out, uh, for all the, the kaiju that were in that particular show. Um, but for X plus wise, we just have this uh, so far. So who knows, maybe we'll see uh, what happens in the near future and stuff like that. So um, I'd definitely be down for uh, and Gears and stuff like that. Cause he was really cool in that show. And then um, yeah, I think just uh, a jet Jaguar, you know, to match with this would be kind of cool too. So, but yeah, that's uh, the first size comparison for the 25 centimeter a 65 and let's size them up with one more all right so this is the second size comparison that went with a little bit bigger scale this is supposed to be the 30 centimeter Godzilla final wars or 2004 um he's on the smaller size of the 30 centimeters um but you kind of get the the gist of the size comparison and everything so if i turn them towards each other 
obviously you see Godzilla, you know, Final Wars is bigger and stuff like that. But like I said, he is uh, one of the smaller ones and stuff like that. So he's still significantly big, uh, especially wide and then long wise. But uh, the size overall, uh, he still obviously is a little bit smaller um, than the 30 centimeters. So, I mean, it makes sense because he is in the smaller scale and everything like that. So, but just wanted to show you guys exactly what he looked like next to a 30 centimeter figure. You know, if you want to try to uh, scale him up to some other figures and stuff like that, you know, um, don't, you know, whatever works for you guys and, and everything. So just wanted to show that off and everything. So um, yeah, still a, a significantly cool figure. Um, obviously the tail, I mean, the tail is just crazy and everything compared to a 30. Like, I don't know if any 30 could really compare to this tail, <laughs> honestly. So, um, but yeah, that's it for my size comparisons. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Remember 500 subscribers is my next giveaway. Uh, and then I'll be doing a special video, uh, for 500 subscribers about the collection and everything. So if you're interested in that, uh, please, uh, you know, share, share the love and uh, spread the word and everything so we can get there and uh, you guys can kind of see my my uh, co my collection. So, uh, but yeah, this overall, this figure is really great. Um, like I said, ex exceeded my expectations and everything. So I am glad that I am going to keep it and, and, and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys are on the fence about it, you know, maybe this will help you in some way and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's a great figure. Um, the sculpt is well done. They've been definitely doing leaps and bounds for sculpt wise at uh, X plus and just hopefully they we keep getting newer figures uh no more reissues or re-releases and stuff like that i mean i understand what they're for and everything but like i like seeing uh newer stuff come out um more frequently than what we're getting now so um but yeah that's it's a it's a solid buy and everything so i definitely recommend it um but yeah that's it for me guys thanks for watching and until next time Later.